I got dumped once and I, that's when my addiction to chocolate began. Do you want the music again? Or? <laughs> yes, I'd like the music. <laughs> I do feel weirdly shy singing in front of professional musicians, but I'm going to give it a go because you only live once, don't you? That's what a lot of people say. So here we go with Coldplay Unpopular Opinion. Here we go. Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Something up till now that you've been scared to say. Five brand new unpopular opinions. And we start with Natalie. I absolutely hate it when people buy me flowers. No matter who the person is. I feel really bad because obviously people are listening have probably bought me some flowers in the past. But they've been plucked from life. There's loads of waste to go with it. And then they just sit in a vase for a few days until I have to put them in the bin. And I just think it's a waste of money. I mean, if I can't eat it and I can't drink it, I really don't want it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I think I... Well, all right. <laughs> put a bin by your door and then you can just put them straight in the bin. <laughs> and look at the person yeah, while you're exactly. doing it. Yeah. Not, exactly. Thanks. Not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyone who's listening to Natalie in the Birmingham area, if you're thinking of buying flowers, don't do it because she'll put them on Coldplay's advice, put them straight in the bin by the front door. <laughs> Natalie, thank you. A great start to unpopular opinion. Let's go again. Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Something up till now that you've been scared to say. Natalie doesn't want anyone to buy her flowers ever again. Next, we have David. Personalised number plates are pointless and are a total waste of money. Have either of you two got personalised number plates? Yeah. Have you? That's all we have. <laughs> oh, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a car, but uh, I, what's, is David, is this? Yeah, it's David, yeah. Or we could call him DAV1D. <laughs> I don't know. I, all right, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. Don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> What is it that you particularly don't like about them, David? We've all been there. You're sat at the lights and, you know, the car in front of you's got this number plate that reads for me, something like G4RY. And here's the thing, it doesn't spell Gary, does it? It's not a word. <laughs> well, it's funny because I have a good friend called T3RRY and everyone <laughs> keeps calling him Terry and he gets annoyed. He's like, no, <laughs> I was named after a number plate. <laughs> I feel like David, you know, I'm sorry. You know, so it must be frustrating. <laughs> Is well, it we, maybe. It's going to make it feel better. What do you do, Dave? What's your job? Um, I work for the NHS in Wales. Right, well, you're allowed to get annoyed wherever you like. Slag <laughs> everyone off. <laughs> you're golden. <laughs> David, uh, thanks very much for being on. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Do you reckon you could play the unpopular opinion theme tune on that fake piano behind you? I've only heard it one time. Twice. Twice, Twice I'm so sorry. What key is it in? Yeah. It's not... That's that's too much. Like, don't, honestly, don't get too impressed. No, you, I am. You, that was amazing. No. Mm. All right. Can, what are we doing now? Well, we're going to introduce the next caller, but my theme tune's broken this side, so you're going to need to play it again. I'm so sorry. I've, my computer's broken. It's just crashed. Oh, sorry. Great. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come and give us your unpopular opinion. Something in the past that you've been scared to see. Amazing. Becky! I wouldn't want to win the lottery. What's the cut-off point? Mm. You know, would you be okay oh, with £10? I think, weirdly, the the smaller the better. I think that she's right. Unless you're nine, when you get given, like, £10, you feel a bit like, eh, well, you know, I didn't earn this. You might not have that sort of feeling of, I did this. Have you ever done the yeah, lottery, I, though, Becky? Oh, I'm not going to lie, yeah. <laughs> of course I have, but um, I think... <laughs> I think yeah. win. Every week, yeah, yeah. I've got the same numbers for the last 20 years. Yeah, sure. I don't want to win it. <laughs> no. I used to work at a supermarket called Quick Save in the late oh 90s. Yeah. And I don't drink or smoke or do the lottery. So they put me on the alcohol and cigarettes counter where they sold scratch cards. <laughs> and it somewhat put me off. I wonder if... Because I saw people were just losing all the time, you know? <laughs> very good point. I'd just like to say, by the way, your intro was amazing. Right. We are very sweet, and I know someone told you to say that, but thanks no. a lot. No, no, <laughs> no. No, I've never spoken to Becky before. It's, it's from the heart. You guys are very sweet. <laughs> Becky, thanks for being Thank on you, the show. Thank you, Becky. No problem. Thank you. Let's go again. I do oh, actually my... like this game. I like this mm. game. No, I this... Oh, and my computer's working again, but it is temperamental. It might fade again. I'm not sure. <laughs> Come and give us your unpopular 
your opinion Something up till now that you've been scared to say Lewis All male opera singers are frauds Frauds? Yeah, frauds, frauds. What, why, what do you mean? I reckon every male can do a sort of put on opera voice <laughs> So I reckon with a bit of training I reckon anyone can take their job Right. Well, you know, I what? like this. You know what I'm going to ask you now, Lewis. You know what's you? coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've only got one line that I know. Um, yes, no, that's all I know. Yeah. To be fair, that was that was very good. Yeah. the best opera. You should learn more lines. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is the next line is is the same line, so you can just say it again, just louder. I think that's a very interesting opinion. Yeah. And one might say it's. Not perhaps being researched as deeply as. <laughs> I like to think it reveals a sort of can do attitude. Like anyone can do anything. Mm. Yeah. Just, like keep going at it. Yeah. Keep trying. But Lewis does make a point, though, that I believe this is true that everybody can sing. I feel like that with a couple of lessons, everyone could. I don't agree with the fraud bit, but <laughs> I, think, I think with enough practice, anyone could deliver a song. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have a good day, Lewis. Thanks, Thanks for being Lewis. on. Thanks, Lewis. Bye, Lewis. Should we do one more? Yeah. Oh, my computer's broke. Oh, sorry, guys. Well, give us your... Your opinion. <laughs> so, in the past, that you feel scared to say. All right, last one. It's Naomi. I would much rather be dumped by text than in person. That's an interesting oh. one. I don't think it's much better because it's obviously a very emotionally charged time unless yeah. you really hate them. But just give it a bit of time, have some time to think about it, so you can say all those things that you need to say. Yesterday you said we were going really well together. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you read your text? <laughs> so the cinema's off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I've, I've cancelled the dinner reservation too. <laughs> You've not got any sad music, Greg. Ah, uh, computer's broken, sorry. If only we had someone who was famous for doing sad music on the line. <laughs> 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 You're talking about you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'd rather you weren't dumped at all. Yeah. Oh, that's just... <laughs> well, you know, when times get rough, what I like to do is just think, you know, you try your best. You know, all right. Greg, stop that, please. Okay, sorry. Uh, we've, we've all been dumped, of course. I got dumped once, and I, that's when my addiction to chocolate began. Do you want the music again? Or <laughs> Yes, I'd like the music, please. This is 1994. Right. I was quite religious, so I didn't necessarily know what to do in terms of relationships. And a young woman had very kindly agreed to go out with me, or the boarding school version of that. <laughs> but after not such a long time, she took me to the cafe, and... I just got some mini eggs from the supermarket. I love mini eggs. <laughs> Who doesn't? That's not what this is about. Um, <laughs> she sat me down and she said, I don't think it's working. And I said, but I'm very religious. And uh, she said, well, let's just be friends. And I said, you know what? At least I've got chocolate. I've got mini eggs. And uh, that's the end of that story. Wow. <laughs> that was good, that's good timing. You're all it's good timing, yeah. yeah. That's, that is a true story. <laughs> Could have a number one hit from that. <laughs> to say, no, yeah. you would have thought, but it only got to the low 40s in America, that one. Um, maybe re-release it. Okay. Yeah. Being broken up with breaking up is just hard whatever way. Mm. But I'm happy that I got told in person. But I, I don't know, what do you think, John? Yeah, I mean, I suppose I'd be a bit sad if that's how my marriage ended. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, Johnny, Wow. <laughs> I'd definitely rather that was in person. <laughs> no, come on, this is <laughs> that's, that's taking it to a whole other level. Yeah, yeah but well, I think I think that's just a fun radio game. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, so... <laughs> It's gone deep. Naomi, thank you for bringing that to our attention today. And Thank uh, you, Naomi. Yeah, that was, it really started a discussion, didn't it? Yeah, and, and sorry about the cinema and dinner again. As I said, read your text. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. If you enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe it and click the bell icon to keep up to date. For more great audio and video from the BBC, you can listen on the BBC Sounds app and watch on iPlayer.